cancers, my cancers. What's up, water babies? Wish pop. What's going on in the life of a cancer between? Happy New Year! And focusing on new shit in January of 2019. Hey, eh? Are y'all ending karmic cycles? Are y'all in this loving and affectionate energy? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, I cuss, all right? So if cussing does not work out for you, please feel free to feel, um, find another beautiful reader on YouTube that can actually better assist you, okay? Because I'm a cuss, all right? Uh, this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Cancer for January 2019. If you guys did not know, Mocha will be taking a break. I am going to extend the time that I'm going to be doing readings um, up until the 5th of January, okay? But after the 5th, I will only be accepting emergency readings. And my emergency readings is there is a... go Within the description, you'll find all of that information because with the emergency readings... The emergency does not consist of what you call an emergency, okay? Um, <laughs> yeah, let's just go go there because in 2019, y'all, it has really, really been um, a reflective year in 18 for me to go into 2019 with a I'm not playing that shit attitude, okay? Because I've been very, very, very understanding to so much stuff in 2018. I've gathered so much and gathered a lot of enlightenment, a lot of wisdom, a lot of courage, a lot of love, a lot of understanding, a lot of spiritual understanding for myself as well as others, as well as just, y'all, just being at a place of truly 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 moving forward you know in a way of just clearing the clutter you know and ironically i know cancers can definitely um <laughs> agree with me on that you know just clearing out space of things that just no longer work with me suit me or build me or add to me in any kind of way in that form you know in, in that form of matter so with that said y'all we just kind of pushing through okay so with that um Coming into the new year, I'm very excited about what 2019 has to bring, you know, because 2018 definitely brought a lot of lessons around family, you know, um, truly, truly, truly learning to trust in the self because you have to really even learn, you know, shit, even, even my shadow gonna leave me when it's dark, you know, and for some of you all, it was really that battling between the emotions of, you know, well, letting things go, but holding on to things that you felt. You get what I'm saying? You were entitled to hold on, but then spirit came in and knocked doors down and gave you a different perspective by you guys experiencing karmatic situations or being on the outside looking in of somebody else's karmatic situations that was very similar to yours. And it, and it, and it helped you find this period of, or this, this, this means of gratitude in what you've been through. Simply because you understand that it could have been a whole lot worse. But no matter how bad it got, not only did spirit have me, but I learned to have myself. And I learned so much about myself. Intimately. Emotionally. Spiritually. Okay. Um, there's this need, cancers, just to be reflective. But for that same matter to give yourself that love that you give when you extend to other people who just can't see your substance or who would dim that light of someone who could see your substance so for that matter we're gonna you know get on into it but all right let's let's let me rock out with my announcements or shit <laughs> um <laughs> Um, to um, everyone, y'all, thank you so much this year for allowing me to share my love, my light, my wisdom, you know, my lifting, my gift with you all. Thank you so much because without you, this channel could not have grown, you know, and you guys, it's been quite the damn time. But thank you all for all the love that you've extended. Thank you guys for the cries, you know, the laughter, you know, the encouraging words in the comments. Thank you for sharing your your testimonies, your journey, y'all. Thank you so much to my new, my old subscribers. It, we all family, so I don't really like to di differ, you know, differentiate that. But to the new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We're a little dysfunctional, y'all, but we love. We love from a whole place. 
We don't fight and we don't fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do love, we grow, we enlighten. You know, we uplift one another. And I thank you guys for being a part of my family and truly supporting me in my journey when, you know, and I couldn't really depend on members of my own damn family to do that. So thank you so much for just being there for me. You know, thank you. My twins are cancer. And I got to say, even with you, baby bubba, it's been quite the year, you know. But shout out to you. You know who you are. We don't always have to be together to know that you support me. But thank you. It means a lot, you know. But we're going to get that. We're going to get it popping, all right. If you need a personal reading, I will be doing readings up until the 5th of January, I have a $15 off special but for my 30, my 45 minute and my 60 minute sessions, okay? I'm off. I'm going to go toot that ass somewhere up tonight because it's been quite the year. I have not had any fun all year. So I'm going to, I, I'm not being literal, but I might be shit. I might give me some Henny and stand on the couch or whatnot, but that's none of your business. Look, okay? Don't worry about what the hell I'm be doing for the new year. <laughs> Just know that you guys have fun. Be safe. Be careful, okay? Um, definitely make wise decisions, all right? But let's rock it. All right, so happy new year, baby. We will be going live on the 26th. If you need that emergency reading, the prices is different. If you need uh, just a regular reading up until the 5th, I'm available. So hit me up and save you $15. Save you money, okay? So let's rock. The first angel message that I got for you guys, all right, for January 2019 was clear your space, cancers. Your message comes from Archangel Jophiel or Jophiel. Y'all help me out. Y'all put some some little uh some some with some damn arcs and, and, and clip put that shit in the comments. Help me out, all right? Um get rid of clutter. Clear the energy around you and use feng shui. So some of you all may be actually practicing or learning or getting into the art of feng shui, okay, during the month of January 2019. But you'll definitely be clearing your space, clearing your clutter, um, throwing away things that you don't fucking need, memories that will remind you of people from the past who wasn't shit. Just get rid of it, all right? Start anew. Some of you all will be moving towards, I'm seeing new home, I'm seeing, um, I'm hearing new furniture, I'm also hearing new deliveries, so some of you all may be finding out that you're pregnant during this time. Congratulations, baby. Accept the newness, receive it, baby. It's God's blessings up onto you that's trying to be bestowed. Some of y'all got new love coming. Spirit is also saying during this time, a lot of you all will be very reflective, all right? Your crown chakra is going to be popping during this time, and I feel that a lot of you all are going to be able to see only abundance, only the things that are positive within your world, and it's really going to allow you to love from a very, very, very expansive place, okay? So during the first week of January, I do see some of you all could be um, actually connecting, you know, accepting new love or moving into, you know, situationships and things of that nature, but I'm... Spirit is suggesting that you take your time, all right, but definitely be allowing, be accepting, all right, but your eyes are going to be in this place, so some of y'all may even be dreaming of a new lover through the first week of January, and you just like, well, bring your ass on when you're coming, I'm ready to experience all that damn love, but Spirit saying, hold your horses, just know, okay, know what you know to be true, and so be it, it shall be bestowed upon to you, so with that, a lot of you guys are going to be in this very, very, very loving space, um, some of you guys, there's a need for you to look at every situation, every aspect of anything, any now, with the eyes of love, okay? Some of y'all needing to get out of nature. During the second week, okay, there may be um, gifts of some sort, all right? Some of you guys, if you're dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, okay? And I'm not, I don't really like putting signs to this, but this could be someone coming back to rectify a situation uh, within the second week of January, okay? And I feel that this is someone who you could possibly have a very telepathic connection with. Matters not the sign. I definitely feel like you guys have a telepathic connection with someone. This could even be a twin flame, but Spirit has been bringing you messages. Messages and we'll be bringing you some type of spiritual information. Some of y'all are going to be getting downloads um, literally um, about your new life. Some of y'all are going to be seeing things extended, your new life, or seeing things that are to come in the future. And Spirit is wanting you to have hope and pretty much sending you that motivation, all right, within that knowing of what you know to be true to push you towards, you know, your goal and what it is that you're trying to accomplish as far as actions, my baby, okay? Good shit. 
But there's this need to be receiving and open and have this openness and this willingness to give yourself, whether it's um, emotionally, spiritually, okay, or even um, for some of you all physically help another person, you know, spirit is really bestowing their energy upon um, kind of like paying it for it, you know, give and it shall be given unto you. A lot of you guys are going to see that within the second week of January, okay. For the third week, some of you all are going to be in this place of expansion, okay? You're actually seeing, you know, you're thankful for the, for the, um, for the guidance, the love of the spiritual messages that spirit is bestowing onto you, okay? But I feel like some of you all are going back to that place of what once was, and there's this need to move forward, move forward and understand and accept the fact that you hold the keys to your own damn happiness, okay? But some of you all, you're really, really, really learning to look at yourself in this whole, new with look at yourself with this with these whole new set of feminine eyes cancer is naturally a feminine energy but i definitely feel that for some of you all you're really 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 learning to how can i put it as above so below so within seeing the beauty you know within yourself that you're trying to accomplish to be or get to or trying to uh, work to become okay for some of you all you just really open up your heart and you're in this place of Kind of like dopamines and um, endorphins and just a happy ass space, you know, within self. Some of y'all, I hate to put it like this, but y'all, some of y'all don't masturbate so much, okay? Because when I see the shit, I'm going to say the shit, so I'm going to say the shit, okay? Some of y'all are really going to be looking at yourself in new eyes. Like some of y'all going to be walking past the mirror, mm, damn, I'm fine, okay? Like, yeah, I mean, straight like that and spirit wants you to... Stay in that zest, stay in that flow of beauty, stay in that flow of sensuality, okay? Third week, because fourth week, what you don't see coming is <laughs> a situation where, again, you know, you hold your happiness, you hold the keys to your happiness within your hands. Some of you all could be actually meeting that damn person that you were dreaming about, or that you've been dreaming about for quite some time, and it's just having this connection with somebody like, Damn, I've met you before, and for some of you all in several lifetimes, okay? And I definitely feel like this destined, this this chance meeting that you guys are going to be having this month is definitely destined, all right? It was ordained. It was infinite, all right, that you get, into this, you get into this energy and really, really, really get what God has to give you because you put in so much work, so much effort, so much love, so much compassion, so much work into yourself as well as other people that, you know, Spirit is trying to give you something, and I feel like it's up to you how you choose to see it in order to be grateful, but there's definitely a need to be grateful, okay? All right, so let's check on my finances, my counselors and their finances, Spirit, financially. All right, one more time. Yeah, but Destiny is definitely going to knock on a lot of you all's door during this time. I say open up because she got beautiful shit to give you, baby, like wisdom, enlightenment growth for some of you all financial blessings and prosperity for some of you all this new love and for some of you all it's really creative ideas this feminine energy that mm, that was missing that little piece of the damn puzzle that you needed in order to move forward to be successful whether it's financial whether it's in love whatever abundance means to you i do see it being bestowed onto you and you better be be there to reap every piece of your reward baby because you fucking deserve it okay I'm proud of y'all. All right, so see what messages do you have for my cancers for January 2019 and their finances? Show me their finances, spirit. Hmm. For those of you who have been kind of in your feelings about possibly leaving a job space or just really not wanting to start no wave, you know, because I feel like for some of you all, you didn't want to leave a company out in the cold or leave a job space out in the cold. Because you're loyal, okay? But that loyalty has to lie within the self. And intuitively, you are already knowing that it has to do. For some of you all, it's tied with your life purpose. Some of y'all are holistic, okay? I'm literally hearing medicine woman, all right? For some of you all, you are a holistic. You, you, you are destined to practice some type of holistic give back, okay? I definitely feel that for some of you all in finances, there could definitely be a situation where... I feel that you're going to have to leave a situation, all right, in order to equally give to a situation. And for some of you all, you really needed to communicate with whomever the boss or whoever your um, 
management or superiors are to let them know your dream. This is what I'm trying to work on, you know, part time. This is what I want to do with my time or this is what I want to invest in. All right. So either we're going to be able to compromise this way and I can do this day and that day and this day and that day. Or I'm going to have to walk together, walk away all together. And I feel that some of you all, you're putting more worry into how it's going to go. Like, oh, they're going to just kick me. No, that's, they're, no, they're not. I do see you being able to give equally to two situations. Okay. Financially. And I do see things being equally balanced out. All right. I definitely feel that. Yeah. And the fact that you're going for, from a five to a six to a seven. All right. Whatever it is that you've been for my five, uh, for my entrepreneurs, wherever it is that you've been putting your energy into, okay, your work into, I feel that there's a period where you feel like things were not going to move forward. But I definitely feel that some of you all need to be receptive to some form of like help or partnership. All right. And for some of you all, ask your damn lover for creative ideas. I'm hearing because some of y'all are just in y'all damn head when you can ask someone for help and you definitely get it. For some of you all, you're actually going to be um, you're actually going to be blessed with moving forward on your own into your new business. My entrepreneurs, if you felt like things were slow moving, okay, in the past, whatever you were working on was slow movement, I do see movement coming forward that's going to bring you this independence, this stability, so that you can truly be receptive to love, to have that time, okay? But some of you all who are waiting on some type of um some type of financial um so some of y'all are going to court during January 2019. For those of you who are dealing with court cases involving finances, I do see justice being in your favor. I do see cancer walking away on top. And this is going to allow you to go recreate, to actually invest in yourself, to start that damn business. Okay? For some of you all who are who is afraid that you're going to lose some type of assets in court dealing with some type of divorce. No worries, no worries, my baby. Everything is going to be a or the K. All right, you're going to uh, actually come out on top. Spirit does, spirit is showing me a fair and just decision. Okay, that's going to allow you you to move forward. Okay, and stand into your stand in your power and your truth, and just knowing that you are independent, that you do not need any other. But you don't need nobody but God and your damn self. You understand me? Let me say louder for the people in the back. Okay, Cancer, you don't need nobody but your goddamn self. Okay. And spirit, you understand? So whatever it is, some of you guys are going to be actually um, starting new jobs, okay? For those of you who have just recently started a new job going into the new year, I do see some form of some type of like expansion or some type of promotion possibly within the next um, three to six months of you being at that job. It could possibly be two, but your hard work and efforts will definitely be... Um, I will definitely be recognized. I feel that some of y'all are really needing to stop fighting the resistance and actually make that damn movement that you know that you need to make. And it definitely involves your passion, your purpose, as well as your happiness, your fulfillment. What do you want to do, Cancer? Okay? Some of y'all are definitely walking away from a job. I feel that some of you guys love your job, but you really have a passion for a, a particular um a particular endeavor that you want to work on and spirit is saying move forward it's time for you to move on that endeavor move on that passion okay so let's see what's going on in love what's going on in love for my counsels for my counsels what's going on in love spirit for january 2019 my sun moon rising venus as well as the cross watchers for the sign of cancer some of you guys are dealing with the Gemini, okay? We'll be dealing with the Gemini. For some of you all, it could definitely be a twin flame partnership, all right? I definitely see for some of you all, you could, some of y'all could be balancing, all right? Some of y'all could actually be juggling during 2019 a Capricorn and a damn Gemini. Some of y'all don't know which way that you really want to go because I feel like some of y'all have some, some of y'all have a family situation, someone who you have a structure with, okay? Someone who you could have had some type of like family dynamic with, okay? And some of y'all have a karmic relationship or some type of soulmate relationship, soul partnership, okay, with um, a Gemini person. I feel like there's a lot of passion with this person. Some of y'all definitely got a family with a Capricorn and some of y'all have a Gemini that really is very passionate about you. This person really wants to put in the work with you, but I feel that you look at them as being very toxic. It's like... You love the love that y'all share with one another. You love the whole passion, you know, the whole desire part, but you don't like all the crazy shit, all right? So in 2019, some of you guys are going to still be giving to two situations equally, okay? One that you're very passionate about, where you may be in and out of someone's life, all right? Um, for some of you all, 
some of y'all are really kind of juggling, all right, being independent and being single, okay, or being attached to someone because you look at the idea of soulmate relationships as being through your past experience of being, you know, toxic. you like, I ain't got time for this shit, you know, I'm just going to give you some money and focus on my stability. They're kudos to you because I feel like for whomever I'm talking to with that particular, uh, with that from that particular aspect, it's about damn time, you know, because it's that need for you to know that you can stand on your own and you don't need nobody. Whomever I'm talking to from that aspect, you possibly was dealing with someone where you had unhealthy attachments to people in love as well that could have affected your finances, you know, going forward, you always got to be the one to start over, okay? And Spirit is saying no more, that's the end to that damn cycle, you know, you've put in enough work to know your worth and know that you know if you continue to keep seeing that same cycle you know you got to work on what's best for you some of you all are possibly going some of y'all are feeling left out in the cold okay this could be someone who you possibly could have had some health, unhealthy attachment to some of y'all are releasing you know that feeling of rejection or abandonment possibly from a water sign cancer pisces scorpio who could be attached to a fire sign or the other way around aries leo sag some of y'all could have been dealing with a fire sign who you want to work things out okay with this person but i feel like this person may come in and give you promises to work things out, but they got their ass is going to be out just as quick as they came back in because this person is really focusing on what the hell it is that they want, all right? But some of you all, be careful if you're just hooking up with people during this time. Some of y'all got a fire sign that's trying to attach themselves to y'all by a baby, and you heard what I said, yes, yes. So be careful, okay, because I feel like you're trying to release the connection, but you're still having sex with somebody who is willing to attach attach themselves to your ass in any way, form, or fashion. So be careful in the month of January, okay? Some of y'all have a fire sign, uh, especially if this is a twin. If your fire sign is an Aries, Leo, Sag, this person wants to come in and work it out with you. I feel like you will give to this person just for a little bit, all right? But I definitely feel like... This person is kind of one that their love is still immature. You know, I feel that you're loving from this whole place, this emotionally mature place. And this person still got play in them. All right. I do see um, for some of you all, if you're dealing with a earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, I do see that this person does want to come in and work it out with you. OK, they actually want to put in the work they're getting out of this period of indecisiveness. They really want to go into a new cycle with you, especially if you're dealing with the sign of Taurus. OK, and Capricorn, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, some of y'all are releasing yourself because this Capricorn could be juggling yourself as well as a twin flame and they're needing to make a decision. But some of y'all, if y'all dealing with an air sign. Gemini Libra Aquarius, you could have made this person feel left out, okay, or could have walked away from this person, but I definitely feel like there can be a new beginning with this person, but this person is coming out of this damn indecisive energy, especially if this is an Aquarius, all right, um, but some of y'all, some of you all, you're really wanting to renew a family situation, okay, possibly with um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay, or this could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of y'all are literally here in paternity. So for those of you who are dealing with court issues where you're waiting on some type of paternity test to come back, I'm going to tell you something, especially if it's dealing with a fire sign and a water sign, some shit going to hit the fan, all right? If you, so, so definitely rest before the storm, baby. Get your rest, all right? There's this need for you guys to truly get more sleep. Some of y'all are not getting enough sleep, all right? But I definitely feel that... During this month of January, there is going to be an uproar, okay, possibly with the fire sign that could have to do with the child, okay, that was could have been made outside of the relationship, or this could have been someone who was denying a child or something of that nature, but it turns out to be someone else. It's, it's a lot, okay, so for those of you who are going through paternity issues, whether it's you or your lover, I do see that there will be a fair just decision made, okay, but someone is going to have to give to two situations. For some of y'all, this could be a Pisces. I feel that... Cancer, you or this other person wants to renew the love, okay? And I feel that for some of you guys, you could have, yeah, there could have been a, a, a child, a child made, excuse me, out of a third party situation, okay? This definitely includes water and fire, okay? And I definitely feel like for those of you who thought that the, maybe you have a child with the water sign already, and maybe you thought that this water sign was, was the father of or the mother or the father of this particular child, this last child that you could have had, 
but it is going to cause an uproar with this fucking fire sign because maybe this person is having dreams like that's my baby and I feel like there's this truth and clarity that needs to be had during this time in order for things to move smoothly and forward, okay? And in order for you to get that solid commitment that you actually want because I do feel like for some of you all, the, the water sign want to run like hell, but the fire sign is willing to put up a fight to actually prove to you and, and, and improve their loyalty and their commitment to you, okay? For some of you all, yeah, some of y'all have an unhealthy attachment during this time to, um, and some of y'all, I'm hearing you could be married to this person. This is why we kind of indecisive about really holding on to it because I feel like some of y'all have ties to assets as well as like finances in a family dynamic. Okay, with the with the Earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I do see. Um, if you actually communicate during this time, I do see some of y'all straight up communicating with this with some of y'all straight up communicating with. Um, this person, you know, hey, look out, I'm unhappy, I really want to be happy, I'm not fulfilled here, and I feel like some of y'all been more in your head about it than really having conversations, okay, or some of y'all will be more in your head than having conversations about it, but if you have the conversation, there will be some mutual agreement, okay, between you two, where both of you guys will be able to have that fulfillment, because I definitely feel if you're dealing with this person, this person is definitely feeling the same way, but it's having to do with children and structure of why, you know, this has been going on for so long. Some of y'all are getting cut off or cutting off a Pisces person, okay? And this definitely has to do with children, okay? What's going on with Cancer's in love? Whoa. Yeah, some of you guys are ending cycles are going into a new one with an Aquarius, okay? All right, some of y'all are going to be putting up clear and healthy boundaries as far as dealing with a fire sign. You let this person know, look, you will no longer come back and forth in and out of my damn world. What the fuck you going to do? You going to go or you going to stay? Because I don't have time for your inconsistencies. I don't have time for indecisions. I know where I want to go. I know that I want to offer my cup. I know that my dreams are right before the midst of my eyes because I manifested this shit and I put in the damn work. So you, your mom and them, uh, uh, them and your daughter, every fucking body, none of y'all is going to stand in my way. I'm not with the shit. I'm coming. With this defensiveness with your ass, because I will, I'm willing to cut you with this damn sword by any means necessary if you fuck with me. And anything having to do with my progression and going forward. I know that I can stand alone, all right? For those of you who've been waiting on communication from a Leo person, this person is coming in and they are going to be communicating very fast with you. And I feel like some of you guys, it's the fucked up communication that will allow you guys to move forward with this fire energy. Strong emphasis on Leo. I definitely got... Um, Pisces in the building. I got Aries, Leo, Sag. Just to, to be honest, y'all, I have everybody here, okay? Some of y'all are going to be moving away possibly from a Virgo, all right? You could just be up and randomly moving away from this person, cutting them off and completely walking away from your past. Some of you guys, after receiving some type of communication or after some type of deception or some type of secrets, things that were lying underneath the surface, is just like the last piece of the puzzle that needs to be illuminated all right it is going to be illuminated during this time that's going to allow you guys to make clear judgments release yourself take those proper leaps of faith be receiving to the spirit and this blessing in disguise that god is really bringing you guys and accept the transformation okay some of y'all are going to be walking away uh from a scorpio okay for some of y'all y'all going to be moving away from or making a judgment around the scorpio or some type of uh family situation some of y'all go dead that shit some of y'all go dead a situation possibly with a sagittarius or some of y'all have a sagittarian person moving towards you guys to give you some form of clarity and tell you the truth give you an apology some of y'all are going to be apologizing possibly to a pisces person i do feel that there's still going to be a cutoff happening but it's for the the better so that both parties can both grow flourish learn from the experience and move forward and just accept the enlightenment that comes from it okay i do see y'all are going to definitely be trusting your intuition the people who is meant for you to move forward in with in 2019 some of y'all are def definitely in this shit in 2018 like fuck that shit fuck them people are they not already showing me who they was guess what i believe them only thing i see before me is success Cancer, I need y'all to keep that same energy. And definitely, please do never be afraid to be by yourself. During this time, some of you guys are going through this period of hermit mode for the month of January for a lot of you guys. And it's more so to focus on your stability, focus on truly, truly, truly healing yourself, you know, and really allowing those things to surface. You know, do I have a 
abandonment issues? You know, do I have issues with rejection? Do I have issues with that? Okay, so let me work on that aspect of myself and put that love and fill that void within myself so that that energy can really project and exude within the universe and the work that I put out so that I can attract that back and be open to it without fear. And after that, reigns upon me success. That, my love, is what the month of January 2019 is all about. Blessings and blessings on blessings on blessings, but will you receive? All right? So that's the message that I have for my beautiful cancers. I love y'all very, very, very much. If you need that reading, hit me up until January the 5th, because after that, it will only be emergency readings, and the prices is different. So I love y'all. Much love, much light. I wish you guys much prosperity, much health. May God bless your finances, your family, your friends, your faith, as well as may you guys have the victory and move forward and accept all of this healing that Spirit is trying to bestow upon to y'all. This is what I have for you guys. If you need that reading, information is below. Hit me up. I love y'all. Namaste. Happy New Year, boo. Bye, y'all.